And now to an out of this world look at the snow frozen over the entire northeast region. This is a NASA satellite image of the northeast. All of that white is of course snow and because of the extremely cold temperatures moving into our area, that's probably going to be the picture from outer space for quite some time. TJ, do you even remember the last time it was this cold in Rhode Island? I don't. Maybe some <laughs> people do. Maybe like a handful of people in Rhode Island. Uh, it, it, the last time it was this cold, uh, tomorrow morning the record uh, low is negative one. Last time it was that cold, West Warwick was not even a town yet. Wow. I believe that's it's a long time ago 1912 that's the last time it was uh you'd have to be cold. very old yeah, you would. to remember that it'd be 106 at least <laughs> <laughs> let's take a look at what's going on right now live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar no uh, snow out there we are nice and dry threat tracker for the overnight and for sunday morning remains at that high level as we are still looking at some dangerous cold wind chills down to 20 degrees below zero remember that frostbite can happen in less than 30 minutes to expose skin so uh, dress properly if you're headed outside for an extended period of time tomorrow morning. By Monday, though, look at that. Back to the green level. We haven't been there, I don't think, since Christmas Eve. Live pictures from Narragansett. We are looking at dry skies. Roadways look like they're in good shape. Here's Smithfield, 3 degrees, with a wind from the northwest at 15 miles an hour. We have a feel-like temperature of negative 18. 5 degrees currently in Providence, 7 in Westerly, 6 Newport, 4 from Taunton down to New Bedford, and Chapachet. You've got the big goose egg this evening. Satellite radar picture. It's fairly quiet across the north. You see a little patch of clouds coming in right now across uh, western and northern New England. Might find a few clouds late in the night, but in general, high pressure is going to be building in. These winds will continue to be fairly busy through the night, at least for the first half of the day tomorrow. They begin to ease a little bit as we go through the afternoon. Let's see how it all plays out with our future cast. Tonight, we're looking at clear skies. Tomorrow morning, waking up to very cold sunshine. In the afternoon and evening, we're still holding on to the clear skies. Clouds arrive tomorrow night. Take note of what happens on Monday. Lots of clouds around. Maybe a few snow showers arriving by evening, but most of the day looks like it will be dry. So Sunday morning starts out extremely cold. Temperatures well below zero. Wind chills well below zero, down to maybe negative 20. So we're looking at dangerous cold first thing in the morning. We warm up all the way to 11 degrees by noontime. Let's take a look at the afternoon. Highs are about 16 in Charlestown. Same for Narragansett, 17 in Newport. Wind chills zero to five along the south coast tomorrow. Still maybe dipping below zero at times in Situate, West Warwick, Johnston, Providence, Cranston and Warwick. 17 in Fall River tomorrow afternoon. New Bedford, 17. Winds from the northwest, five to 10 will make it feel closer to zero. Here's that live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast again tomorrow. Potential record cold, the record next Negative one set back in 1912, long time ago. Monday, lots of clouds around. Look at the temperature all the way up to 35 degrees. Could be the first day above freezing since Christmas Day. That's almost two. That's two weeks of sub freezing temperature. By the way, the record for that is 18 days uh, for staying below 32 degrees. Tuesday, 36 sunshine. Wednesday, above freezing. Look at the end of the week, upper 40s and lower 50s. And of course, quite often the time whenever you get uh, warmth like that, especially this time of year, the price you got to pay is some rain. And that looks like we have in store for us on Friday and Saturday might be a little bit of icing in there as well. We're going to have to watch that, that potential, but we have one more frigid cold day. Then things start to improve. All right. Thanks, TJ. Coming up in sports and eyewitness news.